Guys and gals, in this video, I'm going to show us uh, the dimension tool, which allows you to check to make sure that your dimensioning that you entered in was done correctly and that your parts are the right size. Um, the dimension tool is found over here. It starts as the tape measure tool. Uh, the tape measure tool is actually very, very handy too for starting laying things out, uh, putting things in certain places. Um, we'll use that more in other videos. Uh, but right now, I just want to go to this dimensioning tool. Um, the one thing that I do need to do is, since my shapes are so tight here, I'm going to make a little space uh, on the x-axis as far as spread them out a little bit, just so I can get in there and, and do some dimensioning relatively easy, zooming in and out. So starting by going to my top view, just to kind of push them apart, uh, I'm going to go to the selection tool. I'm going to click and drag from right to left, starting above and outside my triangles, and go just past my triangles. Now that selects them. Use the move tool. A lot of times when I use my move, my move tool, I want to click points because I'm actually moving things for purpose. This time I'm actually just kind of moving it to the right. So I'm just going to slide it directly to the right, giving some space in between. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my circles. Click and drag from outside the right to the left and make sure you fully, fully encompass all of them. And then move them over a little bit. Now, once we're done here, putting these down, uh, this is going to be just fine. This is going to give me a lot more space in between just to be able to do some dimensioning and get my dimension tool there to click some stuff. All right. So in this video, I'm going to show you the dimension tool. What I would like you to do through this process is basically dimension everything you can dimension, um, just as it's kind of a learning practice. Uh, so showing a few things off how we can dimension. I'm not going to make you watch me do all of mine. Uh, I'll let you kind of play that way and, and kind of try to learn. Um, but I'm going to come in and I'm going to go to the dimension tool to start off. Second tool down on the third setup. And then I want you to know that first thing you can do just starting out is kind of zoom around, around over here to the rectangle, the back side of it, or the, the cube that way. And you can select a point and then select another point. And if you slide down, it will drag out that dimension. All right, that's one way to dimension. Another way is by actually grabbing a line segment. So if I orbit a little bit over here to this side, it's kind of zooming in and zooming out. Um, if I go and select the blue segment right now, it will just grab that whole line segment and then I can drop it by dragging and dropping it out. All right, um, I am just gonna keep on going here and just showing you random things you can, you can dimension. I can go from midpoint to midpoint relatively easy. I want to know how far that little ledge was. All right. I can also do the same thing going up. So midpoint here. Oh, sorry. I'm going to hit the escape key because I missed, actually clicked into another dimensioning that I had. You can also edit dimensions when you do that. So clicking here and then clicking here and then sliding that over. All right. So just trying to get all the dimensions needed to figure out what we actually have here and what we're looking mm -hmm. at. All right, um, mm -hmm. I think we have one more right here that we don't have. So just kind of grabbing this bottom line segment, pulling that out. And that pretty much does it, does it for these kind of cubes. Um, it kind of be the reverse inside and then you can pull a few from the back side, that'd be fine, or from the back last cube. Um, but just to kind of practice doing the dimensions themselves. Now, if I go into my circular piece here, it's a little different. Um, when I go to select certain things you notice that my circumferences actually select um, and that makes it easy I guess to either grab your circumference or if you hover over your circumference and you slide to the middle also it allows you to select the midpoint all right I'm not sure if I can get to the center if I can't see it let's just see nope oh yeah you can you see that so I was just hovering over my midpoint there and slid in and then it activated that blue point right here I'm assuming that's a midpoint. It is. All right. Now, um, the next thing is if I click on one of these blue circumferences, it gives me my data, first of all, in diameter. If I right click it, I can change my type to radius also. All right. So 50 millimeter radius, or a, um, what we had there was a uh, 30 millimeter diameter. Now, um, other things we can do. If we're on our piece is 
I think if we hover over top here, let me see what I can do if I go from points to points. Midpoint here, if I go down and hover over this portion, midpoint to midpoint, I should be able to pull that information out too. That's not quite right. All right, so hit escape there. That didn't work well. Um, but just try to play around. I can do this. I can do this. Right, um, and just showing the different diameters that are on there and that exist. Uh, and then for our triangle, we can kind of do the same thing. So point to point, all right, um, our bottom dimension that way, oh, escape. But all we're kind of doing here is just practicing going through and, and putting down some dimensions. Oh, that's right, because it was a, the radial. Aha, uh -huh. that's a little weird one there. Um, but just get some practice pulling those, and that's how we're doing in this step. Once we're done, we're going to save it. And then we already had some practice doing this, but this is actually going to be our submission for this slide, uh, is, or our insert for this slide, our picture that we're inserting. And that is coming in here and going into our ISO view. Once again, orbiting up and around. And then getting it kind of centered. And that's going to become our screenshot, not our screenshot, but our. Uh, PNG that we export. So export as a PNG. Change these sides so they're about 600 by 600. It might be a little bigger now just because I've made it a little wider. I'm actually going to go 700. Enter. If it needs to be a little wider, it can be. So I'm going to go 720, 750. All right. As long as I can see all the information, just a little, a little more 80. 800. All right, I just want to be able to see all my dimensions that way. Well, I guess you can rotate it too in that little presentation screen to see. All right, and then we want to hit the background to help us see it and then export to the PNG. Once again, that pops up over here, but usually on yours, it pops up on the right hand side and that will be your, some, your uh, insert for the slide. Um, for this day's slide, which is what slide is this? This is actually slide uh, three. Have a good day, everybody. Hope it helps.